Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. So, like last week I uploaded a Ulta haul. I mean, hello, I'm always uploading freaking hauls. But I uploaded a haul and in there I had a few new drugstore things that I asked you guys if you wanted to see like a video on it. And a few of you said that you did. So, I'm really excited because today's video I've been wanting to try this for like ever since I bought it. I'm going to be testing out the new Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Foundation up to 30 hour wear. So, I said in my Ulta haul that this is just, I think, a reformulation or the same thing just longer wear i'm not sure of the maybelline superstay 24 hour foundation but now we got a 30 hour foundation i don't know who's wearing their foundation for 30 hours but good for you girl if you are but yeah also with that i'm going to be testing out the new maybelline instant age rewind perfector 4-in-1 glow makeup a lot of people on TikTok have been saying that this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter. So I'm real excited to test this out. And then we got the new e.l.f. Electric Mood uh, Face Quad. I'll probably be testing this out too, but that's pretty much it. And then I have the Glassy Skin Balm um, Electric thing from e.l.f. as well. But since I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Glow Makeup, I don't think I'm going to be testing this out in this video. But maybe for a future video, but yeah. So if you guys are interested, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. It is like 100 degrees in here. I had to turn my AC off because it's real loud. So let's get into this video before I start to melt, okay? First, going to start with the Maybelline 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. It says it's a primer, concealer, highlighter, BB cream, base corrector, illuminator. There's a, This thing says to be a lot of things, 4-in-1, so I guess that is facts. All right, so I'm so excited. Oh, my God. So I'm going to twist it. I never know with these little Maybelline things, like when the product's going to come out. Twisting it the right way, yeah, right? Okay. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. There it is. All right, so I'm just going to... Oh, how am I going to do this? All right, let's get a little bit more product out. There we go. Okay, there we go. I love a glowy base. This is, by the way, the shade Fair. And I feel like this is definitely darker than what fair would be. Like when I saw this, I was like, this looks like my tan. Like it's not that much different. But all right, so I guess I'm gonna use my fingers to buff this in. Ooh, let's see. I like these two like under the skin pimples on my chin and I see them coming through right now because of the glow makeup and they hurt and my birthday is next week and I'm not trying to have these little pimples there. All right, anyway, so as you can see, I look like a little greasy person, like a little glazed donut, which, you know, I'm all about looking healthy and hydrated and all of that. Um, yeah, I mean, if you wanted to wear this on, like, its own, I definitely think you could if you're going for, like, a natural look, wanted to put a little concealer on, a little cream blush. I think it will be good to go just because it gives you that nice, like, glow from within. Like, I am not mad at this. My skin looks really just like healthy and hydrated, so that's cool. All right, so I use that as my primer. So now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Super Stay 30 Hour Wear Foundation Super Stay Active Wear. So I guess if you're like working out and stuff, this would be good for you. I got mine in the shade Medium Beige. I, beige. Beige. I literally never know with Maybelline. I just kind of go and just kind of wing it. Oh, this looks like it might be good. Look at that. Yeah, that looks like it's a good one. So I feel like this consistency is a little bit more liquidy than the super stay 24 hour one but i could just be totally out of my mind like i haven't i used that a few months ago and honestly i didn't like it like i remember when i first tried it i loved it and then like I used it a few months ago and i was just not like into it like i was so i'm going to start out by blending this out with a brush that's how i really like to um start my foundations wow okay this is giving really nice coverage Do you guys see that? Do you def like do you see the glow coming through from the glow makeup underneath? Wow, and this shade is not that far off. I don't mind a little bit of a darker shade because I I rather look a little too like a little too tan than a little fair. So that's why I always just bring it down. It is a little off, I'm not gonna lie, but we will make it work. I'm super fast in this video because it's like 9.04 and I have a nail appointment in about an hour and I still gotta pick my sister up and I have to do my hair. And I have to finish a TikTok, so your girl is pressed for time, but it's because I took Thor, my dog, to the dog park this morning because I just love taking him for his exercise and he loves dogs and he's just, 
makes me feel good. I don't like keeping him inside all day. Like whenever I definitely have time, I love to take him and just have him interact with other dogs and let out some energy. But I promise you, there's nothing that I can do that is going to make my dog less hyper. He is just a little hyper baby. All right. So I am going to take my sponge. I put a little bit more in here. I'm going to just go over my face with it. I choose a sponge because it pushes in the product and it also evens out, ugh, I have a brush hair on me. It evens out like any brush strokes as well as pick up any extra products. And I just love the finish of a sponge rather than a um, brush. It's just my personal preference. But you guys, the coverage on this foundation is yes, wild. Like, it looks really, really good. Okay, so before I do my concealer, I want to go in with the e.l.f. Electric Mood Quad. I want to use this bronzer. I know it looks a little dark in the pan, but I'm really interested to see how it looks on the skin. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Putty Applicator thing. I love this for cream bronzer. So, oh, okay, it picks up nice. So let's just see. Okay. All right, that's actually a really nice contour shade. I'm gonna wipe off whatever might be left over on my brush. It's definitely giving a really nice, wow, I like this shade a lot. I honestly didn't think I would like it, but I think that looks really good. Look at this side, look at this side. Wow, you can definitely see the difference. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. This bronzer. I honestly thought that I wouldn't, but I am like really, really into this right now. What do you guys think? I think it's a nice shade. It's. I don't think it's definitely universal. Um, I think if you're a little bit lighter than me, this might be too dark, and if you're a little bit darker than me, this might be too light. But if you're like medium-ish or like light to medium, I think you might really like this. Wow. Are we gonna have a good makeup day? Because that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling like good, positive like vibes right now. That's the vibe. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm quickly gonna go ahead and do like my concealer, my powder, all that stuff, and then I'll be back to do like the cream blush and the cream, let me see the cream highlight. Is this even a freaking highlight? Like what is happening here? Oh yeah, it is, it's like a decent highlight. All right, I don't know if you guys can even see it, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer and like that type of stuff off camera, and then I will be back to show you guys how everything is wearing and stuff, so. Hang tight and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just went ahead and put on my concealer. So now I'm gonna go back into that Electric Mood palette. I'm gonna take, I think I'm gonna take, ooh, I kinda wanna do this like corally shade right here. I like this one. They're both really pretty. No, actually I'm gonna go in with this one. This like more plum-like. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to apply this like the tops of my cheeks. Ooh. Very nice and subtle, which I like. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take the highlight, which is right here. I'm gonna take the opposite end of that blush brush and apply this right to the tops of my cheekbones. Let's see. I wanna glow, guys. Let's see. All right, so it's looking okay. Oh, actually, maybe I'll take the Glow Makeup and use that. Okay, so you see that right there? Ooh. Yeah, mm-hmm. Look at that highlight. I love that. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just finish up the rest of my face, like my eyes and stuff, and then I'll be back to show you guys how my skin looks. But right now, what do you guys think? I think it looks really good i think this foundation with the glow makeup like might be my new favorite foundation we will see we will see i'll be right back okay guys so i just finished all the rest of my makeup i just want to say my hair is looking like a1 right now it never looks as good so i'm like living in the moment with my hair but look at my skin you guys what do you guys think do you think it looks good? Because I think it looks really good. The only thing I would say is my pores are a little emphasized, like right here. But other than that, I think this looks amazing. I'm actually going to put a little bit of powder, put a little bit of powder right there, just to kind of like fill them in. 
just because they do look a little a little big but that also could be like the primer because typically i'll use like a pore um filling primer for the most part i'll use like my tatcha one but that's not a big deal because i mean there you go that pretty much fixed it for the most part but you guys i'm really loving how my skin looks i really think the only thing is another thing i would get a different shade because this shade is like a pinky-ish undertone and I am not a pinky undertone so in the sunlight it looks kind of like a little funky but other than that I give this like an A plus like plus I think it's really nice I did set it with a dewy setting spray I always set my stuff with a dewy setting spray like 90% of the time just because I love how like the dewy setting spray just really pulls everything together also where is it I love the glow the 4-in-1 glow makeup thing Oh my god, literally amazing. I love this so much. I really can't wait to wear it like on its own. I definitely think I'm going to wear it like if I'm going to the beach or something and I want to like look glowy. Definitely, definitely will be wearing this. Love that. And this little quad, you guys, this little quad is awesome. The only thing that I say that I would say like I wouldn't really use, okay, I'm not even going to try to open it because this thing drives me nuts, um, would be the highlight. Like it was okay, but like once I put this on, I was like, okay, this is like a liquid highlight like that I love. Um, I love the bronzer. In the pan, it looks really, really dark, but on the skin, it gave me a really beautiful contour with a little bit of bronze at the same time. I did use it, I forgot to tell you guys, off camera to kind of contour my nose a little bit. Not, 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 not that much, but yeah. And then I do like the blush. The blush is beautiful, and I really do think I'll really like the coral blush. So if you guys can find this quad, I got mine at Target. Definitely check it out. I think you guys will really really like it. Sorry, my nose is itchy, so I'm like trying to scratch it with this. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you guys in today's video. This was a good first impressions video. Like, you know what they say, good makeup, good day. They don't actually say that. That's like what I say, but that's how I feel. Like, whenever you're having a good makeup day, like, nobody's gonna bring me down. Nobody's gonna make me cry. Nope, it's a good makeup day. I don't care what anybody has to say. It's about me. You know what I mean? But yeah, so that's all I have for you guys in today's video. Please do not forget to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe as well. Let me know what you guys want to see from me next. Um, I do have one other product that I do want to re uh, review for you guys, so that'll probably be one of my next videos. But yeah, so go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me all of your requests and thoughts down below. And as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will hopefully catch you guys in my next video.